Hello there, and welcome to the Fat Pigeon Live session. We're broadcasting live original music and enjoy enjoying a few cheeky beverages. And uh, we are live here at the Shakespeare Pub in Nantwich. Yes, and tonight we're spoiling you with not one, but two talented artists, both performing fresh new music live online. Lucy May Walker has performed alongside Gary Barlow and Robbie Williams. And a popular BBC introducing artist Lucy's debut EP, We Know The Score, reached number 14 in the iTunes singer-songwriter chart. That's right. And joining Lucy tonight, a Birmingham-based singer-songwriter who, after years of gigging, is now working with producer Michael Clark to release his first original album. And that's coming up very shortly. And remember, all of, all of our live music is archived on YouTube, so subscribe to our channel and keep up to date. If you didn't catch our last Shakespeare session, here's a little snifter of what you missed. Hello there, you've stumbled upon Fat Pigeon Live. We're broadcasting original music and enjoying a few cheeky midweek beverages. The music has a far more pleasing sound. What's the type of sauce? Very it's good. Very good, very good that. Thank you, they're all laughing. <laughs> This is this is literally what happens when I write something. Okay. Uh, no, no, hold on. <laughs> Spiders are hiding in my mind like lightning in clouds. Ten, twenty minutes later, she went, "Oh, I've got it," and she YouTubed. <laughs> The bill, the theme tune to the bill. I'd, ri I'd written the theme tune to the bill, which was... Uh... Originally, that, that's, I mean, impressive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you, you play an Irish bouzouki. Uh, yeah, and I yeah. happen to know that a bouzouki is a Greek instrument. Basically, the Greek bouzouki has a uh, round body, whereas the Irish bouzouki has a, uh, a flat one. Right. Are you? Quite the snifter. Lovely sized snifter. And now performing his track, Beautiful Mess, please welcome Mr. Spence Cater.
great to be here in Nantwich once again. Uh, I'm going to dedicate the, this whole set actually to a, a dear friend of mine who the last time I came to Nantwich was uh, over 10 years ago and it was a sad occasion because it was the, uh, it was the, uh, the funeral, it was the wake of a, of a dear friend who used to live in Nantwich and he was a big ambassador of unsigned uh, music and he actually did the Kerrang Unsigned show at one point, he was the radio producer on that so so this whole set, and in fact the whole show, all these songs, everything I'm doing and being here is uh, I've dedicated to Rob D, Rob Dentith. This is for you, Rob. And this is a song called One Clean Year of Wonder. <laughs> As I go on 
Thank you. So we're going to interrupt this beautiful um, concert. Um, you are watching Fat Pigeon Live, in case you were wondering what you've tuned into. And this is Mr. Spence Cater. He's been playing some original songs. Can you tell us what those two songs were called? Yeah, well, the first one uh, is called Beautiful Mess, and it's about uh, when you fall in love with a beautiful woman and she turns out to be mental. They all are. You know what I mean? I do. I think we've all been there. You've oh, been there, Hawk. I they're all mental on that beautiful women. All the men are mental too, nice, just to be like equal. In the nicest possible us. way, of course. As it is. So that song's about that. And one clean year of wonder is about my journey from, from the darkness. Of the, the dark A50. side of the spirit. Um, to the light, you see. I think okay. uh, hopefully that came across in the lyrics. Um, so yeah, as I said, that was, uh, that's kind of a song that I dedicate to Rob because he, uh, he, both he and I shared that kind of journey. And I'm uh, deliberately going to leave that hanging there and sound I quite will. mysterious. Yes, I will. Enigmatic. Because that's a million questions around that, really, yeah, isn't it? Is, yeah. yeah, just. Yeah. And women. Yes. Did that anything to do with you busking on the streets of Nantwich this afternoon? Or? Uh, Tenuous will... link, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I did actually. Uh, I do busk, and I, I came here today earlier on, and I um, said, I haven't played in uh, Nantwich before, and it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's good for busking. It's pedestrianised. Uh, um, you'll be talking to another busker later on. She might be nodding her head, going, "Yeah, pedestrianised." She good. may well be. Yeah. Um, Hashtag pedestrianised. So, yeah. Well, and it was pretty it good, I have to say. They said, "Come to Nantwich." You know, all the people are friendly and generous. Well, they were friendly. And Cheshire anyway. people are rich. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the, you tend to get that in Nantwich, I'm afraid. But um, <laughs> it's the busking element that's, uh, that's really of interest because um, you were a professional photographer. And now you're making your living full time. Yeah, kind of. As yeah. a musician, I mean, my, I'm a qualified photographer. That's been my background. I still do photography. I'm a freelance photographer, uh, but I did have a studio, and it was kind of full time at one point. I've always done music ever since I was uh, 15. I'm kind of uh, 40, <clears throat> 44. Are you good and, at um, selfies, musical selfies, or do you not? Selfies? Is that too, is that below you? Um, Obviously, musicians sure need to take selfies a lot. But oh, if you're course, a professional yeah, photographer, take... your selfies would be amazing. They are. No filter necessary. They're perfect. You just need to go with these women when they ask you questions. <laughs> Slightly off the cuff, really. But yeah, I still, Good I evening. Do, I still do a bit of photography, and um, but yeah, the music has kind of taken over. About three years ago, I got uh, busking chose me. You see, and um, I started busking. I started doing. Uh, gigs. Uh, I do. I teach as well. I teach privately. I do sessions for the mentally handicapped as well. Music sessions, uh, and all those things conspire to sort of uh, put money in my pocket. And, um, and it's a Are great you very way to earn a living. Expensive. We were going to ask you this with a bit of a spence, a bit of a jokey. No. Oh, when I die, I'll be an expense. Oh, that's good. Expense. Go. I like that. I like that. But, you but just up, uh, well, I mean, talking about putting money together. Um, new album. Re yeah, I'm recorded. doing a new album. A new album. New album. Have you got a sting for that? New album. New. Um, no. I'm doing a new album, and it's. Um, <laughs> if you go on my site, it's spencecatermusic.com, right? You'll see a little tab on the top saying, "Give me your money." No, it says, "Support my album." All right, my debut album. Uh, I've already done one crowdfunding campaign, which was uh, pretty successful. So that's bought me some time in the studio with a guy called Michael Clark, who's who is actually he's a tip-top producer. He's produced a lot of. Uh, bands in Birmingham, but a little bit of a uh, nugget of information about him. He was in the Davy Brent film last year called On the Road. He was in the band. He's in the foregone conclusion band. Him so and his brother. He's in an office that. band. Say? In an office band. In the, in, if you like, yeah. If you, like, you put it that way. band. So anyway, I'm recording with him. So if you want to support, if you want to hear more music, if you want to pre-order a copy, then um, just go on that site, link, le, le, go on that link on my site. And What's your site again, options. please, for the people at home? It's uh, www.spencecatermusic.com. And that, if, in case you don't understand that, that accent, where's that accent from? Uh, it's a bit of a mixture, but I, I'm, I'm, I reside in Birmingham, but it's kind yes, of... Yes, uh, a Birmingham accent. Different. We're going to translate it into Cheshirean. It's www. <laughs> I can't remember the rest. I can't anyway. either. I was just got all I wanted to <laughs> know really. Spencer. All I really wanted to know music was about Spencer this. Music. Yeah. Music. music. That's it's like a sales program, isn't it? Really. Yeah, it's but a bit I like really QVC. wanted to know. I really. Well, I did have an interesting question to ask about this. Uh, just returning from New York. That's right. Yeah, I did a show, not unlike this actually. Uh, it's called the Jimmy Lloyd Songwriter Showcase. It's in New York, and they've all got cool New York accents, right? Yeah. And um, and I did a couple of songs over there, and that was great. Um, 
and that was through a, a connection that I made a few years ago. Jimmy Lloyd's show goes out on NBC and on Apple TV and Amazon TV and all that kind of jazz. Um, Brilliant. So that's, that's in the can, that's being edited at the moment, that should be out in about a month or so's time. Great. Do you get nervous when you, when you go live on TV? I did see you doing some strange facial gurning before to prepare for this show. Have you got like a yeah, ritual? Yeah, it's, it's kind of a musical thing. thing, you thing go like that you do. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't, why don't we let, <laughs> let the man... <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. Why don't and we then let I the do man, the vocal warm Why don't we let Spence uh, play us another couple of tunes then and see how that goes from there with the gurning. Okay, thank you. And... Um, I've got questions for you, actually. Why Fat Pigeon? I want to know why. Maybe you can tell me afterwards. So, um, so this is a song about, um, about being in a relationship. And it's called Relationship. The clue's in the title. And it also makes you feel like you're on a ship, so you can sway along to the motion of the ocean. You don't know where you're going I don't care where we've been And there's no way of knowing Where this storm will come in You say there's no destination And how do we know when we're there I don't know if you can see this And, uh, look, there's a studio audience. There's a live studio audience. This is cool. It's like, it's like being on Jules Holland, isn't it? I'd imagine. So um, I'm, uh, it, it is original music, and that's kind of what I'm about. But I'm also uh, I'm throwing in a cheeky, cheeky cover. Just because I want to. 
Uh, so this is a song by, um, it's a song by uh, Bob Dylan, but it was also made popular by Adel. <laughs> my last song ladies and gentlemen it's gone by in the blink of an eye so it's uh, it's been a great rehearsal i can't wait for the live show um so this is um this is a song about uh in the in the dim, dim and distant past when i used to uh drink rather a lot uh this was a, a song that was about a hangover like a the morning after the night before kind of thing so it might uh, you know be appropriate for some of you guys later it's called How You Feel Afterwards, and uh, thank you very much. SpencerCaterMusic.com. Thank you. Is the game you always play Let me make 
makes you feel wonderful then who am I to say it's how you feel afterwards you're asking me today well in my mind I am not giving up control and here I stand feel afterwards you've satisfied desire your body tells the truth and then your mind calls it alive well if it makes you feel wonderful and throw it on the fire it's how you feel afterwards you've satisfied desire well in my mind i am not giving up control and here i stand Cater. Well, um, it's now time for the, the uh, next film in our series called Sleeve Notes. And each week... Ooh. Okay. Shall I do that again? <laughs> well, no, each week we feature a new band and talk to the talent about their lives in music. And a few weeks ago I popped over to Coal House Studios whilst rock band FM were recording their latest album... FM have been touring Europe for over 20 years, having performed alongside Tina Turner. I'm just going to poke my contact lenses, can't read this. Try Meatloaf. Meatloaf, yeah. Foreigner, Status Quo, and the White Hot... Bon Jovi. Yes, exactly. Um, with them <laughs> during the Slippery When Wet tour. I managed to grab them for just five minutes, so we spoke to the singer, Steve Overland, and guitarist Jim Kirkpatrick. Here we are in a bar, our natural habitat, with two musicians from rock band FM. Hello. Hello. So to my right here I have Mr. Steve Overland, the front man. Hello there. And then right over there in the West Wing is Mr. Jimmy Kirkpatrick. the reason behind the name? It was the best of a bad bunch, really. I think we had, like, the worst name collection in the world thrown into a hat. Things like Uncle Arthur and things like that. So, Merv came up with FM. We had to get a name together. We got a tour with Meatloaf in Europe. We had no name for the band. We had a record deal and a big tour, but no name. So, he came up with FM, so we said, we'll just use it for the tour, see how it goes. that gave you your big break? God, still waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I don't know really, it's sort of, with FM it kind of happened over a period of time. Mm -hmm. I guess the, the thing that really launched the band sort of into the next level of doing theatres and bigger shows was probably the tour we did with Bon Jovi, we did the Slippery When Wet tour. Love these name drops. Now, Meatloaf, Bon otherwise Jovi. Otherwise you're going to say, who is he? You know, yeah. so, um, you know, so basically we did the Slippery When Wet tour and from doing that, obviously we were playing to sold out gigs every night and it was a massive tour. Mm -hmm. And it was when that album broke all over the world. So we were kind of with Bon Jovi when they became the biggest band in the world. So it was a great experience for us. So I believe you're recording your new album. We are, yeah, we just popped out to do this now, it's going great, isn't it? It's yeah. sort of coming along great and it's probably going to take another couple of months, but sounding good so far. So, yeah. Yeah. so you're categorised as a rock band, mm. can you sp specify more precisely what your genre is? Well, that's what we are, aren't we? Yeah. Really? A lot of people say melodic rock or AOR, but we just think we're a rock band, really. I always think it's a bit like Queen FM, that if you put a Queen album on, it isn't a rock album from start to finish there'll be a few pop songs a few rock songs a few strange ones on there but fm's a little bit like that there's a bit of pop and a bit of rock and a bit of blues quite it's, not, it's not a heavy rock thing from start to finish at all Talk about that. You've got obviously the old fans, but other new fans now coming in. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's a young. real, mi real mixed audience, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. And we've, we've sort of found the last few years, as we've been playing abroad more, you know, there's people who never saw the band the first time round in, in now, Spain in and France. Italy and places the band never went to the first time. I had no idea. The you first know. time we went to Portugal, yeah. and we got picked up by the promoter at the airport, and as we drove off, we turned the radio on and. FM came on the radio and I said, oh, is this, this on the CD? He said, uh, no, it's just the radio. And we went, wow, he said, that's the second biggest station in the country. We went, wow. And it was a song called Let Love Be The Leader, which is an old FM song that was never, not, never on, an not on an album, it was just a no. single. And we went, wow, what a strange song. And he went, ha, it was a, a hit in Portugal. You play tonight. And we went, I had no idea. Nobody he's knew like, it, He's it like, you play tonight? Whoa. <laughs> And we were all sitting at the back of the bus going, oh, God. So we did a show. A we did a, the one hit we've had in we did a this show. country, we were not going to play it. We did a show with a Swedish band called DAD in a sports hall and 2,000 people there. They're all going, oh, oh, oh. Which Between every song. The song. And, and we're, we're like, going, oh, yeah, we're not doing we it. We can't <laughs> play it. <laughs> we don't know it. So have you backed that back into the set? Oh, yeah, very much oh, so. Yeah. Oh, very much so. <laughs> especially in Portugal. So if people at home want to find where you're gigging next, where can they go? www.fmofficial.com oh, I'm glad you, you, I'm glad you were doing this interview <laughs> with me. I can tell you're multinational, it's a .com, not a .co.uk. Absolutely. Very nice. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining thank us you. today on Fat Pigeon Live. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you very thank much. Very much. question for the band something profound to say or an interesting disease we could all share if so oh slippery when wet is a great name for a tour now, um, eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed that uh, Cole House studio producer Scott Ralph appeared briefly in that film. Um, well, Scott will be joining Ms. Brown, Ms. Brown, tomorrow night at Blakey's in Newcastle for another live session. Yes, we've got a brilliant young band called The Good Habits, along with an appearance of the legendary Pigman and up to three saxophones in one three. room at the same time. Ooh. But back to tonight, all the way from London and performing her original song, oh. My Help, please welcome Lucy May Walker. Hiya. <laughs> Thanks. This is also my brother, he's Jamie Walker. Um, so this song is um, one of my ro most recent ones. And uh, I'm really scared, even though it's just cameras. 
There's a lot of people here as well. Woo! So many! Fall in love with me again so you can treat me better It's enough for me to see you trying to make things better, baby I know you hurt You never promised me perfection but we're so far from it You think I'm trying to change you but I'm just being honest, baby I know you hurt To call them from eyes is work Running around in circles Jumping over hurdles Trying to find a right in all your wounds Thought that this was worth Where we were when we first met each other Seems so simple then Having drinks by the river, baby Well, that's when it worked So fall in love with me again So we can make this better Waited long enough for me It's now or never, baby I'm hurting too Do you call them from eyes Running around in circles, jumping over hurdles, trying to find a right in all your wrongs. I thought that this was worth it, but it's just not working. I can't help you if you can't love yourself. That's it now. It's all done. <laughs> no. Right. I'm not sure where to look. I'm not sure what I'm looking at either. It's like a bright light or a camera. Which one should I look into? I'm just thinking all of it. into it. That'd be awkward, wouldn't it? Um, looks like I'm not like, talking to myself because they're not answering. Um, <clears throat> so this one is... Um, I had to write a song about London for a, a competition that I was in called Coffee Music Project. Um, and at first I started writing it and it was like, I love London, la la la, and it wasn't great. Um, so I thought I need to write something a bit more true. Um, so for me it took, took me a little while to kind of find my feet. 
um, in London, and uh, I know that it's the same for quite a lot of people that I know. And so this is about little characters that I've um, witnessed or, you know, I'm talking too much. This song's called You're Not Alone. In an office there's a man wearing a business suit Makes so much money he pays someone else to shine his shoes On the street trying to sleep Another guy and his dog They want so different growing up It's just one got a job I Try not to look in their eyes Cause you might feel something And you might be surprised to know They've just lost hope Get lost in this city as you lose yourself You'll forget why you moved, see if you stuck on the shelf You'll get lost in this city as you lose yourself You'll forget why you moved, see if you stuck on the shelf But no, you're not alone He's an actor or aspiring to be But his rent's up and tough luck He'll have to work for free Single mother with a baby Getting on to the tube No one offers to help Cause we're all struggling too But try not to look in their eyes you might feel something and you might be surprised to know They've still got hope You'll get lost in this city as you lose yourself You'll forget why you moved to feel stuck on the shelf You'll get lost in this city as you lose yourself You'll forget why you moved to feel stuck on the shelf But no You're not alone On the platform A girl facing onto the tracks No one sees her, no one listens When do we face the facts? But try not to look in her eyes Cause you might feel something and you might be surprised to know She's lost all hope There's eight million people all out for themselves And they came here with big dreams that might not work out But there's eight million people and some might need help to know They're not alone You'll get lost in this city as you lose yourself You'll forget why you moved Stuck on the shelf, you'll get lost in this city as you lose yourself. You'll forget why you moved to feel stuck on the shelf. But no, but no, you're not alone. Thank you. Hello, hello. You're watching the fantastic Lucy May Walker. Um, now, I actually met Lucy May a few years back um, during the Open Mic UK 2013 competition. Oh, my God. Yeah. So I know that was a while back. Can you, in two minutes, briefly give us an overview of what's happened since then? Um, so I didn't write songs at that point. So now I write songs. Um, Brilliant ones, too. Uh, thanks very much. Um, what happened? Um, oh, 
I... I've got a list of things here. <laughs> Help me, what did I do? Uh, I moved to London. Um, yeah, I decided that I wanted to do music. Um, I don't even know when that was. Had I gone to uni at that point? Maybe not. Went well, to uni. Um, I moved to London. Go on, what did I do? All those good London things. What eh? did I do? All those good London things. Well, we're not going to mention Taylor or Street. <laughs> Looks like we're advertising all the time. Just for you. And, um, well, busking has played a big part of that. And yeah. in some of the good areas, some areas that I quite like when I have to would go down like to there. Would you like me to well, tell you or you tell me where I go? You tell me and I'll just nod <laughs> okay. when you get to the one that I like. So, I started busking as I entered a competition. It was Mayor of London busking competition. And um, I didn't really think... Of, ever imagining myself as a busker and then I met a lot of people and then they were like you should busk because you make a lot of money huh? really so I inquired at Borough Market wow and um, and for some reason I just right place at the right time they just had someone drop out so I started busking every other Tuesday and now it's every Tuesday 12 till 2 um, I got a license to busk on the National Rail um, which, no, it's good. Um, yeah, but there's a nice bar in the borough called The Rake. Oh, but I'm right. not advertising anything tonight at all. Do you get right. free martinis if you go there? I, I'm sure they do some great real ale in that place. Cracking. I actually don't get free food when I'm at the um, borough market. What? I haven't really got, tried. I just kind of like You've got some skedaddle. fantastic bistros there, like borough bistros, not bad. Can we stop all this advertising, please? <laughs> So, after that, I got an, an underground licence. Um, well, I had a temporary one for a year, and then they were like, you're all right, you can have a, a full one. So, thanks very much. Um, and then, very recently, I, uh, I waited a year and a half for an audition um, for a licence to busk on the South Bank. And I, yeah. Only one yeah. step away there, aren't we? Eh? So, I got it. Oh, from the Thames. From the Thames, yeah. <laughs> so, that's where I am, underneath the London Eye, um, on... Hot days. So if you're in London, make sure you look out for Lucy May. Um, so what I was going to ask you is about the artist's experience of performing as a busker. I mean, mm. personally, I've had mixed responses from audience, indifference, elation, more of the indifference, really. Um, so, yeah, tell us about how it feels, busking. Um, I love it. Not all the time, because some people just, like, walk past you like you're kind of part of the wall, and that's... Like, Someone once um, tripped over my guitar case and we went flying. So that wasn't nice. That's karma. Mm. Yeah. So Very then he was like, oh, oh sorry. Um, so that, that happened. I didn't like that. Um, but I usually get quite a good response. Um, sometimes people watch me for a long time. Like, there's this one guy that started watching me on the un underground. And I was like, oh, he's going to stay for a song. That's so nice. Because that doesn't usually happen. It's usually like, oh, they're all right. Or... Here you go, there's a penny. Um, and he stayed um, for one song, then two songs, and it was like an hour. Oh. It gets a bit awkward, actually, people watching you underground. Um, yeah, when he tries <laughs> to hold your hand whilst you're strumming. No, that has, yeah. <laughs> oh. Now, just, just taking that a step further, um, because yeah. another thing that I found out just this week when I knew you were on, um, you've actually supported a band called The Dunwells. <gasps> yeah, do you know them? Oh, do we know The Dunwells? I wrote, oh. I wrote song number one with them. You did? I did. Really? Yeah. Where was that written? Um, in Leeds. In Leeds? Yeah. Fantastic. And then I did an open mic that one of them runs. Matt or? David. David. Right. So Aww. Matt um, is in a band called City of the Lights. Yeah. Who will be playing at a festival near here soon. Oh. Can't mention any names. But the Dunwells, yes. Can. We can. The Dunwells, we go... Uh, ooh, I'm having a drink. Years back. Carry years on. back. I'll just fill in while you're having a drink. Um, but yeah. Lovely light box, by the way. Just to add some... Bought it just for this. Just to add some context to it, there is, there is somebody called Mark Wilkinson as well, who I'm not, oh, yeah. not sure about. Not that I'm not sure about, I've not heard about. Oh, he's good. Do you want um, to tell us? I actually got... So I work in a coffee shop, don't know if you've heard of it. Have you mentioned this? Um, no. <laughs> Taylor Street Baristas. Do you know, I've just... I you know somebody who works there as well. Who is it? He looks just like me, but a lot <laughs> younger and longer hair. Has got much longer than hair. Um, this is all in jokes. Let's explain. His son works in the same coffee shop as her. There Absolutely. we go. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was I saying? We were talking about. I just Mark got carried Wilkinson. away. Oh yeah, yeah. So in the coffee shop that I work um, at, there was a customer who's like, "Oh, I know this great singer-songwriter called Mark Wilkinson, who is Australian." 
Yeah. And he was like, oh, I'm going to go see him. He's going to be amazing. Um, I actually emailed his manager telling, you, telling him about you about a year ago. Anyway, a week later, they emailed me going, we've got a support slot for you. So I supported him. Yeah. Is that so, boring story? Well, it's not boring, no, because right, it gets cool. back to Thanks, uh, where Hardy was going with this, really. You know, I mean, there's busking, there's appearing on stage, there's playing at entrances to venues. Exactly. And the LG Arena. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yep. Um, so I think that was around the open mic time, actually. I think it was straight after that. A guy that had seen me in open mic. Um, it's like a kind of promoter called View My Gig. And he got me this slot in before Gary Barlow at the Algina Arena um, by the food bits. Um, so I think there was like 16,000 people kind of like walking in and I had a little stage with seats. And then after that, um, I got asked back to do uh, it again before. Oh, that light's so bright. Um, Robbie Williams. <laughs> Sorry, my mind sometimes scatters. I can't imagine Robbie Williams being described as a bright light. <laughs> Sorry, Robbie, but there you go. Tomorrow we are um, with uh, the co-writer of Robbie Williams, so... I know, Will. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, that's fantastic, and um, I think we should probably let Lucy play some more of her tunes. I'm really impressed. I'm fangirling over here by the, uh, by the radiator. And, and yeah. fast the green room, room, as we call well, it. I only did covers Hot. when I knew you. <laughs> I know, she's well good. Well, let's hear a few more from you. Oh, yeah, no, All but right. where's your Facebook, etc. in case people on the, on the, well, in the real so world want to find you? So, you can like me on Facebook, and it's facebook.com forward slash Lucy May Walker Music, um, Twitter at Lucy May Walker, Instagram at Lucy May Walker, my website is lucymaywalkerofficial.com. That is rude. That is rude. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go. Oh, no, I'm not tuned yet. I need a Jamie. I think I do. What song is it? Not, not around. I think it's not around. It is not around. Cool. <laughs> Jamie, speak. <laughs> Sorry, you're just going to have to deal with this awkward moment. It'd be worth it. Right. Ready? And this next song is um it's called Not Around. Oh sorry. I don't know who my friends are. And when I found my, found my self I don't know who my friends are I thought I did, but where are they now? I've lost my trust, I'm out of touch Of knowing who you are I've lost my head my real friends And now I'm back to the store Are you about to walk away From all the memories I'm not around No, I'm not around anymore Are you about to walk away As if we're enemies I'm not around No, I'm not I've become But I know who I am Yeah, I know I grew up I played your games back when we were young I thought I win But we both lost I've lost my trust I'm out of touch of knowing who you are I've lost my head, my real friends And now I'm back to the start Are you about to walk away From all the memories I'm not around, no I'm not around anymore Pretend. 
I regret that I didn't share how I felt. Are you about to hear me say I miss the memories? I'm not around, no, I'm not around anymore. Thank you. We're just going to have a little change of room. Uh, I'm going to unplug. I'm not, I'm not going to unplug. Sorry about this. We can edit this out. Have a cup of tea if you're at home. Well, don't actually, it's not going to be that long. This isn't working. A shot? Heidi. <laughs> oh, they won't be able to hear you. She was like, have a shot. Right. The banter in Nantwich, I can't even say it. Right, sorry guys. Cool. Um, this one is a song called I Don't Need You and it's basically when um, if someone were to say cheat on you and then, uh, um, then come back to you and be like don't worry, I'm here for you after they've cheated on you. This might be about that. Um, so, I don't need you. I think about you every day, don't ever think I don't. I want to see your smile again, there's not a day I won't. But I don't want to see you, cause that's when it gets hard. But then again, I'm not too sure it's easy when we part. Cause I don't need you looking after me. Thinking of to me, cause no one should come up to me. I don't need you looking after me. Thinking of to me, cause no one should come after me. No one should come after me. You're all I ever talk about, you're always on my mind. I wish that we could start again and leave the past behind. I try so hard to look for a word, but you're always sad. Oh, why does it have to be like this? So oh, it's not fair, cause I don't need you looking after me, thinking of to me, cause no one should come up to me. I don't need you looking after me, thinking of to me, cause no one should come after me. No one should come after me. I always thought my heart was strong until you made me weak I don't know why I thought that you would sweep me off my feet Cause I listened to the stories but I didn't want to hear And I put all my faith in you so now we're here Cause I don't need you looking after me Thinking after me cause no one should come after me I don't need you looking after me Thinking off to me, cause no one should come after me. I didn't want your love at first. My heart was bruising and I was hurt. I didn't want your love at first. Myself for at first 
Because no one should come up to me I don't need you looking after me Thinking after me Because no one should come after Oh, I don't need you looking after me Thinking after me Because no one should come after me I don't need you looking after me Thinking after me Because no one should come after and I don't need you looking after me Thinking after me Cause no one should come after me I don't need you looking after me Thinking after me Cause no one should come after me No one should come after me No one should come after me Thanks, Jamie, for playing for me. We're not done yet. Oh, yeah. Thanks very much. Right. Hello, Facebook. Uh, for some reason, I was like waiting for an answer, but I feel I feel you waving, guys. Do we know how many people are viewing? No one. Brilliant. I I tried to click on earlier when I was sat watching, and then it popped up and started playing, and I was panicking. There were six at that point. Oh, I'm tuning wrong thing. This is what happens, guys. It's actually um, the battery hasn't died, which usually happens when I've got an important gig. Cool, I'm going to do a cover, if that's all right. It is all right, because no one can speak to me, so I'm going to do a cover. Um, it's, uh, it's one of my favourite um, bands called Vaccines, and this one is called Post Breakup Sex. I've got sweaty hands, just for the occasion. Oh, just as you might get if you are having post-breakup sex. It's true. Right. This is quite an emotional song. Let me just get into the moment. Okay. Cool. I can barely look at you. Tell me who you lost it to Didn't we say we had a deal Didn't I say how bad I feel Everyone needs a helping hand A thing I would not understand Someone of the social scale For when you're going off the rails Now post breakup sex It helps you forget your ex What did you expect From post breakup sex Leave it till the guilt consumes I found you in the nearest room All our friends were unaware Most had just passed out downstairs to think I'd hoped you'd be okay No, I can't think of what to say Or maybe I am misunderstood But I can't believe you're feeling good From post-breakup sex That helps you forget your ass What did you expect From post-breakup sex when you love somebody but you find someone oh. And it all unravels and you come undone oh. Sex 
it helps you forget your ex What did you expect from post-breakup sex? Thank you. Whoa. Well, it's uh, almost time for us to go. Uh, a big thank you to Spence Cater, <laughs> Lucy May Walker, and Jamie Walker. Um, well, tomorrow we're at Blakey's in Newcastle. Uh, well, we you are. lot are. We? Yeah, yeah, you lot are. I'm not. I'm going to Ireland on a fact finding exercise, which is, well, it's piss up, really. But there you go. <laughs> Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's loads of great music on there, including a full track from rock band FM. So, playing us out with her original song, Self Destruction, Lucy May Walker. Thank you very much. Right, I'm off to grease my trouser press.